hi! This is not a video I thought I would be making until next year. The 1st of the 6th next year, in fact. Because that was the goal I put on my... the date I put as the end goal on my Thinking Slimmer goal thing. So, um, basically my goal was to be a size 12 or 14, well, 12 to 14, and to be fit and healthy. And I, I saw that as a long-term undertaking, and it has been a long-term undertaking. I started initially dieting about two years ago, I think, um, and I was uh, size 22 basically then, and I lost a bit, I gained a bit, lost a bit, gained a bit, and then um, Slimpod came to me and were like, do you want to try it? And I was like, yes, yeah, give it a go. And it's been amazingly easy. And I, I said this morning, actually, on the Slimpod group, that I haven't really got used to it. Even though it's happened quite slowly. I'll put these down now. Um, even though it's happened quite slowly, the weight loss, having gone from a 22 to now, this is a 12, this outfit. Um, and I pulled it out of, the, out of the drawer this morning, where it's been sitting, waiting for sort of me to fit into it, basically. And I pulled it out of the drawer, and I, and I thought, I'll try it, but I won't get stressed, because it probably won't fit until maybe Christmas, next year, whenever, you know. And that's okay. And I pulled it on, and I, I was pulling it on thinking, it fits, it fits, oh god, it fits, oh, oh my god, it fits. Oh jeez, it really fits! <laughs> And there was this sort of this moment of, have I, uh, have I succeeded? Have I actually succeeded? This is quite scary. Um, because when I was younger, I always felt fat, even though I wasn't. Um, I, was, I was a size 12 then. And yeah, I felt fat. And, and then I started putting on weight through stress and overeating, and comfort eating, and not exercising at all, ever, and obviously the weight piled on and on and on, and that happens very easily, a little too easily, mm -hmm. so I knew I had to change something, and I struggled, so I, I tried the 5-2 diet, and basically I just overate on the days that I wasn't fasting, so that didn't work. Um, I tried general calorie restriction and my fitness pal monitoring what I was eating, but I could not control that the biggest issue for me was I couldn't control the overwhelming urge to binge on chocolate. It wasn't always chocolate. ninety five percent of the time I would say it was chocolate. I was eating chocolate every night. Um, I'm not joking here, every night. And some nights I would just eat half a bar. Most nights I would eat and eat and eat the whole bar and still want more, even though I felt physically sick. And how, don't ask me, don't ask me, I don't, don't understand the crazy brain science of it all, but the Slimpod Chockpod that I listen to has changed my life, basically. <laughs> changed my life. Because I don't crave chocolate anymore. I can sit in bed, I can sit at the computer, I can sit downstairs, I can sit wherever. And it is night time. Which is sort of, used to be like, bam. Need to binge on chocolate. And now, it doesn't occur to me. I, I don't, I... I it, anyway, I, it just, it isn't something that I fancy now. And that's really weird still. But it's good, and that has really contributed to my weight loss. Because I'm not stuffing myself with obscene amounts of empty calories every night. Um, additionally to that, I'm eating, in general, less. Because I'm just not so hungry. And that's really good, obviously. But it's not... It's not in like a restrictive way. I don't feel like I'm genuinely restricting. I don't feel like I can't eat that because that's bad food. I don't feel, oh, well, I've only had one portion of dinner, 
I can't have another portion even though I'm a little bit peckish. If I need to eat, I will eat. And I still enjoy food and I still go out for meals and I still have pudding every now and again, you know, and that's fine. Because there isn't, there isn't this, this, I don't know, bad food, evil food sort of thing going on in my head anymore. And I don't know, it's weird because I don't feel like I've done a lot. The only thing that I have really done is listened to my slim pod and exercised, started exercising. Um, and the exercise was fairly recent, as you will have seen from my vlogs. Um, and I've fallen off the exercise wagon this past couple of weeks because stress. Um, but I'm going to get back on it. Um, and I'm going to get back on it because I want to which is weird for me. Um, I'm starting yoga lessons in mid-November, I think. They were supposed to start this past week, but that didn't happen because of illness and things. So <laughs> that's happening. Um, and yeah, I just, I feel like I have a healthier relationship with food now. And that is a big step for me because I've always had, obviously, an iffy relationship with food. <laughs> Um, and it's, it's novel, I guess. It's weird in a really good way. So yeah, I am apparently a success. <laughs> and I've reached my goal. And I'm not going to stop slim podding because I feel like I want to maintain this now. I, I don't want to stop listening and three months down the line suddenly find myself stuffing myself you know and I feel like that might happen at this point uh, maybe in the future I'll feel like I can listen less and and it'll be fine but at the moment I need that I guess security of the slim pod listening to it knowing that it is there guiding me um so yeah go me and uh, really proud of myself Honestly, really proud of myself, even though I feel like I've done nothing. So, <laughs> that is good. Uh, so basically, I wanted to do a little celebration with you. Uh, I'm not sure what this was, but the, the, well, that was my celebration. Um, so yeah, this wasn't supposed to happen until the middle of next year. And it's like, not even the end of this year. That's quite scary. When did I start? Let's have a look when I started the 4th of May that was when I set these goals and I must have been an 18 then if not bigger um, so that is kind of amazing and it feels like it's been a really long time honestly it does because I'm one of those people who wants a quick result and I've had to keep telling myself this whole time slow and steady wins the race it's a marathon not a sprint blah 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 you know because it is that is true and if I want to lose it and keep it off, which I do, it has to be done in a healthy way. And I'm all for the, the healthy way. It's just sometimes when you have been dieting for so long and then you're like, well not dieting, but eating less and trying for so long, you're like, mm, I just want it to be gone. And it's not, but it is going and going is good. <laughs> I'm rambling now. I don't, I don't, I'm just, I'm just so pleased. I'm genuinely so pleased. Oh. I don't think I ever thought this day would come, and and here it is, like, what, eight months early or something. I, I'm, I think I'm still in shock. So yeah, go me, I'm awesome, two thumbs up, all that, and uh, I will see you again at some point. Probably doing another little celebration. <laughs> Alright, bye!